Good food, good fun, good times. For everybody. Weekends don't get much better than this. Don't miss any of the pro football action on CBS Los Angeles. Sponsored locally by Spectrum. Introducing Spectrum One Stream. Now offering the Zumo Stream Box. Visit Spectrum.com for details. Over the years, I've gotten some great laughs at how people have misunderstood and mispronounced my name. Are you injured? Are you hurt? Call that guy. Check up uh, Armani. Not the clothing brand here. Still, Jacob M. Ronnie. Accident or injury, call Jacob Armani. Hey, I don't care what you call me, but after an accident, just call me or go to calljacob.com. Call Jacob. New Big Brother, tonight on CBS. is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 31st. Happy Halloween. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Yeah, good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Holmes from In for Rudabay Shabazi. Happy Halloween, October 31st. Amazing. The holidays have officially started. Yeah. All right, here are the stories we're tracking for you this morning. A raging wildfire forcing evacuations in Riverside County. We have the latest in the fight <laughs> to contain the flames as more fires break out across Southern California. Plus, the high winds making that firefight even more difficult. We are tracking your conditions as the Santa Ana winds cause concerns this Halloween. And a Hamas hostage rescued from Gaza. We've got more on the people taken and the response from Israel to the UN's call for a ceasefire. A really busy morning in the weather department. Let's take a look at your next weather with Amber Lee tracking those winds uh. and what trick-or-treaters can expect. Exactly. So, okay, we have the San Ana winds. They've been with us for the last couple of days, and they brought us the really warm conditions. So this morning, even though we've had warmer than normal afternoons, it's very typical with the San Ana winds that we have really cold and chilly mornings. And you can see it right here. Take a look. Temperatures are well below freezing in the Lancaster and also uh, near Palmdale yeah. sitting above freezing. Temperatures right now in the 20s, 30s, and 40s for the high deserts. This is why we have those freeze warnings and frost advisories. And then as the winds continue to trickle down into the lower elevations, you can see that the basin and also near the coast. Looking at the have more details. We're going to take a look at the roadways now. Right now, we do have a SIG alert that is on the southbound 101 that we've been talking about all morning long. The good news is that the SIG alert is finally canceled. So all lanes are open. This is at Laurel Canyon. And then we're looking at the rest of Los Angeles County where we do have a three car crash on the westbound 210 at Grand Avenue. Carpool lanes are blocked here. So just give yourself some extra time. Orange County looks good, but we do have a stalled big rig on the eastbound 91 at Tustin Avenue. The right lane is blocked here. So this is at the very end of that Corona crawl. But take a look at the Corona crawl. It's going to take you about 37 minutes from the westbound 91 from Corona to the 55 freeway. So it starts to get a little bit slow once you get past you head west of the 15 freeway. Here is a live look at the 15 freeway in the Cajon Pass where traffic is moving right along. Back to you guys. All right, Amber, thank you. We turn now to developing news in Riverside County where the Highland Fire has now burned more than 2,200 acres and it's 0% contained. The brush fire fueled by those strong Santa Ana winds is burning in the Awanga area. It's forcing evacuations in that community not far from Temecula. Homes are being threatened and some structures have been destroyed by the flames. So far, there are no reports of any injuries. And now let's bring in Cal Fire Riverside County PIO Jeff LaRusso on the phone with us now. Uh, Jeff, thanks so much for being with us. What is the latest on the situation with the Highland Fire at this point? Well, good morning. Like you said, the fire is uh, 2,200 acres. 